Good afternoon, everyone. Happy new release day. Big new release today. 2019 Topps Finest Baseball. Um, one of their one of their top products every year. Eight box. Pick your team number one. And big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action, buying your team straight up. And we also have a team random, as you can see, right there. So these uh, nine people right here will get spots. In, uh, in finest pick your team one, and then this last spot gets finest pick your team two. So Angels, Mets, Brewers, Angels, Mets, Brewers, right? I think I got this right. I feel like there's something wrong with this. Cubs, Nationals, Indians, Cubs, Nationals, Indians, and uh, Rockies, Diamondbacks, Reds. All right, well, we'll just go with it. Big thanks to these folks for getting to the team random. Let's roll the dice. Remember, you saw the description here, 10 names. 10 spots. Each of you will get a team after six times on the randomizer. Five and a one. One, two, three, four, five, and six. After six times, we got Scott down to John. All right, so Scott, you get the Angels in finest one. David Hewton gets the Mets in finest pick your team one. Josh Proust with your last spot mojo. You end up with the Brew Crew in pick your team one. D Mac with the Cubs. <clears throat> Cubs, excuse me. In finest pick your team one. Brand new release just dropped today. Patrick K. Nationals for you. Kevin Crouch, you got the Tribe. EO with the Rocks. DMAC with the Diamondbacks. And last but not least, we got Scott in with the Reds. In finest, pick your team one. And John, let me get your name in the other spreadsheet. Gets the Reds in finest two. Get your name in there so I don't forget. All right. There we go. And no, uh, there's only like a couple Marlins cards, I think. So uh, we didn't sell the Marlins. So if we happen to pull any Marlins, we'll just randomize it to uh, to one person in the break. As a lot. You literally only have like two two names on the checklist. I think there's a couple other non-auto teams as well, but those have a lot more inserts and a lot of other cards. I think Marlins just have two base cards. It seems like print. Okay. And there's the case right there. We've got plenty in the store, so check it out. So there is two, four, six. And on the right side here, there's two more right here to make eight. Here is the official printout. So those little symbols next to your name means that you got them in a team random, just so you can keep track of that if you so choose. There's everybody right here. Thank you very much, everyone, for getting in. Appreciate it. Like I said, plenty in the store on jazbeescasebreaks.com. So go and get it. All right, so 2019 features Mariano Rivera, finest careers. He's on the front. Looking for two autographs per master box, usually one per mini. So there you go. A lot of fun parallels to chase as well. Um, great set building product. You can build, build rainbows out of these things. And these are relatively, relatively quick breaks too. It's about the length of, 
maybe about. This is the, the configuration is a lot like Bowman's best, so it takes about that that much time. Jim Gray in the house, very excited about finance for the all cast. No, it's all good. Jim um, says looks like looks like great cards. He says good. Yeah, they they usually it's one of this is one of their longest brands, right? Finance has been around forever, so pretty popular. I don't think they they screw around with it too much. Oh, you know what? Before we go through this first box, let me drop uh, groupbreakchecklist.com. They do a great job of organizing all these uh, these hits by team for you. And this is a nice overview right there. So if you click that link in the chat, if you're watching live, um, you can see the group break checklist. That'll take you to their uh, team autograph grid so you can get a nice overview. It doesn't show you all the inserts, but it'll show you all the hits. And you can go to their site and dig deeper if you want to, if you want to see all the different inserts as well. First autograph, Fran Mill Reyes, who I think hit another dinger today. He's got like 20 some odd home runs. Isn't that crazy? I guess Fran Mill Reyes was definitely not on my radar. <laughs> Anyhow, there you go, there's Fran Mill Reyes. Autograph for the Padres. That'll go to EA and the Friars. There's Whit Merrifield to 150. There's some of these inserts right here. Blue chips insert. Right. Are there a lot of redemptions in this? William? Bill Moshe saying, are all these cards signing the off season? Is that why? Oh, nice. Gary Sanchez, blue chips auto. 20 out of 30. That will be for the Yankees. Paul Kuhit with the Yankees. Nice start. Vlad Jr. was the only redemption you saw. So there's not a lot of redemptions. Redemptions happen when when uh, when players don't sign their cards. So Gary Sanchez gets mailed a stack. Uh, gets mailed a stack of these blue chip cards, right? This is an on-card autograph. And so they usually print these and they mail them to him. Then he signs them. He has to send them back. And... If he doesn't feel like sending them back, then then uh, then he turns into a redemption. Actually, I don't know when the production schedule is. I would imagine that this these cards were sent to these folks maybe I don't know a couple months ago, a few months ago, maybe even less than that. Yeah, not a lot of they didn't load they didn't load up a lot of Red Sox in this year's finest. So that's why they're that's why they're priced the way they are. Alright, next mini box. Next two mini boxes. Bill Mosher had occasion to go to David Ortiz's house and had a big box from Panini by the gate. Occasion to go to his house? Translation, I was stalking David Ortiz one day and saw a big box of <laughs> by, from Panini by his gate. By his gate? That doesn't seem safe. Like a stack of flawless cards? All right. 
Next up, looks like the autographs are popping out early. Look at this. Danny Jansen Super Fractor autograph. Wow. Blue Jays, Jeremy Tillman. What a super hit. Nice. JT, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. Nice. We'll set that aside to snap some pictures. So, vet, veteran commons won't ship, but that's a refractor, so that DeGrom will ship. Just FYI. And obviously, these inserts will ship. And obviously, anything that's that will ship. Obviously, all this stuff will ship. RCs, rookie cards will ship. That's all those RCs will ship. All right, so it looks like the autos are popping out sooner. <laughs> Should we slow play that a little bit? These are cool die cuts going to the Yankees. Some of these can be autographed too. There's Blake Snell to 50. And the autograph is... Tim Anderson for the White Sox. Nice. Jeremy Graham with the Shy Sox. And Tim Anderson has been having a fantastic season. Oh, were the, is, is that what I did last year? The autos were always on top? Okay. All right. Just move the first pack to the back for maximum suspense. So how do I rip these? So if I do this, it's on the bottom, right? So it's the first pack right here. That's the auto. EO saying his fantasy team's hurting this year with injuries. Guy's not signing until after the draft. Yeah, speaking of fantasy, I've, I have Carlos Carrasco on my team. And he is out indefinitely with a medical condition, some sort of blood issue, which is kind of scary. So apparently, um, it, I, I guess one of the symptoms is lethargy. So he's just kind of lethargic in general. So that kind of explains why he hasn't been as sharp this season. Kind of scary. All right. Next mini box. So where where do where does Dallas Keuchel and Craig Kimbrell grow? I saw on MLB.com their Syndergaard two fifty that the that the Cubs were seriously pursuing Craig Kimbrell. I thought the I thought the Braves were all over that. That goes to Josh Proust, who got the Brew Crew in a team random. Got gets the Corbin Burns. And there's Brad Keller. The autograph was kind of in the middle this time, out of 150. Royals. That's going to go to Derek Williams and the Royals. Out of 150. 
And a bonus auto. Look at that. Out of 150, Pete Alonzo for the Mets. David Hewton. Hewty. Hute got the uh, Mets in a team random. Nice. Now, Chris, I think this is, we just got a bonus auto. This was in the right spot. So, thanks, Finest. All right. Chris Ensworth thinks Keichel goes to the Yankees. Will he shave his beard? I guess he would have to, right? Ensworth also saying, man, he really needs the Braves to get Kimbrel back. Yeah, I thought they were going to be all over it, but apparently, apparently not. Vinny saying that Alonzo is about 80 bucks right there. Nice. Bill Mosher would only give Kimbrel one year, three mil. I feel like he's going to get more than that, though, right? A lot, a lot of teams desperate for bullpen, like my Dodgers, who who lost to the uh, Diamondbacks in extras, 3-2. to two. What happened there? I was listening on the radio, and they were up 2-1 right when I walked into the store. Vinny's like, he's selling like, Pete Alonzo's selling like crazy. You PC him and it's just getting too expensive. Well, guys hitting dingers. Bright spot on a big market team. So. Oh, come on. Is not loading up on MLB.com. Come on, MLB.com. Um, what the hell happened? Oh, come on. Off to ESPN. Come on, Pedro Baez. And then who gave up the, the bottom of the 11th? Come on, Scott Alexander. Unbelievable. That's one of the big issues for the Dodgers, their bullpen. All right, anyhow. And Bill was saying earlier, he li really likes Finest because they feature feature a legend every year. I think that's I think that's cool too. There's Goldschmidt for the Cardinals, and your autograph is gonna be Francisco Arcia for the Angels. Scott with the Angels got the Angels in his team random. Um, and Bill was also asking if we're going to the National this year. I don't think we are. Not officially, anyway. I may just pop out there for a couple days just to hang out, but not officially. I think with the, the new store that we're getting, the new store kind of falls right where the National is, so we're kind of focusing on that. There's Ryan O'Hearn to 99 for the Royals. So... Um, so because of the new store situation, we're kind of focusing our resources on that. Nice Altuve, first, uh, finest origins autograph. That's for the Astros. That goes to Matthew Bodner, who got the Astros straight up. Nice. So yeah, because of the new store, kind of focusing our resources on that, 
So it does not look like we're going to be going to the national this year, not officially. But next year is in Atlantic City, yes. I think we'll probably go we'll probably go to that one. It's a little ways away, but I'm pretty sure we'll be going to that one. Um, but I don't think that we will be... I don't think that we will be... Um, I don't think we'll be breaking at the National. It's just not, it's very cost prohibitive to haul all of our gear all the way out there and cases and supplies and ship from the National. It's sort of a nightmare. So even if we do go, it probably will not be, we won't be group breaking there. So I guess we would have more time to do meetups, yes. EO, you're thinking of going next year? Nice, Wayne. Yeah, you got to keep those umpires on their toes. Um, yeah, it, it, Atlantic, so this year, Chicago. Next year, Atlantic City. I think, I'll, I think I'm going to, I think I'm trying to see if I have time to pop out to the National this year just for a couple days, early, early in the week. Maybe visit some uh, visit Rory's card shop in Milwaukee. Maybe take in a baseball game and just you know get out of town for a little bit. Be pretty cool, but I haven't I haven't locked down tickets for that yet. You haven't been to a big card show before? It's pretty cool. Yeah, Jim Jim's right. You got to go to at least one. Especially the national. You should, everyone should go at least once. You know? So, I, th I think you'll be surprised at how, I mean, at least I was. There's Ryan O'Hearn, autograph. I was surprised at how, like, the scale of how big this convention was. Nice Ryan O'Hearn for the Royals, Derek Williams. We did Atlantic City a couple years ago, Eric and EO, and it was it was pretty fun. Um, I think they have, I think Jersey has sports betting now, right? So I, I, I wonder if any of those casinos have sports books now. There's Max Kepler to 150. Are there steep discount on boxes? No, there are not. But a lot of eye candy, a lot, a lot of lot of shops from all over the country come around and bring all their cool stuff. A lot of auction houses are there trying to trying to get some business, trying to drum up business. There's Mookie Betts to two fifty. So it's a lot of eye candy, a lot of promos though. There's Kevin Kramer to fifty. I was looking for that number there. I think a lot of places will do rapper redemptions. There's Chris Shaw gold. To 50. So if you buy boxes, you can bring wrappers back to like Panini or Tops, and then they'll give you something else in return. Something like national exclusive. A lot of swag, a lot of national exclusive swag there. So it's really cool. Got to go at least once. Vinny says, if you come to Milwaukee, you come to my restaurant. Oh, Vinny, you have a restaurant? So are you saying that maybe I could just go out there, I can, I can um, impose, impose upon Rory and Ashley and crash at their place and then get fed at, at Vinny's place, eat at Vinny's place. I'll take that. I'll do that. I thought there was going to be a bonus auto too. There's nothing in there. Yeah, we, I did not go to – there was one in Cleveland that I didn't go to. I think that was year one of Jaspies. They went. And yeah, there's a Ferris wheel in there. I kind of want to, kind of want to go to that one. But there is on the spot grading. Yes, I would in, like so. PSA is there, and Beckett is there, and they will grade and slab on site. But if you do go, I think I think it's best to go early because I think once like the middle of the week later, if you go middle or later in the week. Then, um, then they get backed up. They always do every year. They get backed up, and then they'll be like, we'll just mail it to you a week later instead of being able to pick it up. So if you're going to do that, I would encourage you to, to go early. 
in the week. Bring as much stuff as you as you can to get graded, so you'll be able to pick it up at the end of the week. Uh, we could, Michael. I think I think this finest new release day would kind of put people in a baseball mood. We might be able to cycle around to leather and lumber later tonight. I think those team randoms are getting a little bit closer. All right, next box. Did I miss an autograph? Or did they miss an autograph? It's the same... Yeah, I didn't miss a pack. Come on. I guess that's what that bonus auto was, makes up for this one. All right, guys. Maybe there's two here. That's Chris and Stewart to 150. He's been hitting, hitting all right. There's Justice Sheffield, still Yankees edition in this one. And that will be for Paul Cool Whit. Got the Yankees in. Got the Yankees straight up, actually. Yeah, I guess there's that that bonus one. I guess the case evens out now. All right, two boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Yeah, I mean, they'll always say on average. I guess Tops doesn't, but. But it's not like we're gonna give back the, uh, the extra auto, right? So if we don't do that, I guess we have to accept the fact that some could have less autos. If we're not gonna give back the bonus auto. Here, Tops, there's the next one in here. Make sure it goes to the right place. All right, there's pl we're almost done with this finest. Plenty more finest baseball in the store, folks. Brand new release just dropped today. So go and get it on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Make it happen. All right, good luck, everybody. Next couple mini boxes there's Chris Shaw to 250. And we got Ton, Tyler O'Neill. Looks like Ton, right? His autograph. Tyler O'Neill going to the Cardinals. That's going to go out to John Samuelson and the Redbirds. Ooh, a redemption? Any guesses on that redemption? I think, was it EO who said that Vlad Guerrero Jr. is a redemption?
could be a vet player as well. Sometimes veterans end up being redemptions. All right. Congrats. You are due to receive a finest autograph green wave refractor parallel, which I think are to 99, of... Oh, non flag grow. M? A? Manny? No, Matt? Matt Olson? Matt Chapman. <laughs> Matt Chapman, who I think is a, also an athletic, right? Matt Chapman is currently an A. So that goes to. Uh, Paul Olshansky, who picked up the A's straight up. There it is. Nice. All right. Last box. Darren Smith is interested in that Matt Chapman. If uh, if Paul Shansky is here, all right. Last two mini boxes. Good luck. This is finest picker team one. Uh, let's knock out finest picker team two, ladies and gentlemen. These breaks actually don't take very long. Each break should probably. I could probably. We're about, about 33 minutes right now. I can probably get it shaved down to 25, 30 minutes once we get a good groove going with these. Probably could have saved a minute looking at that Dodgers box score and yelling at my Dodgers bullpen. Another redemption on the bottom right there. Is that the black? That would make Jeremy Tillman very happy. Is Tatis Jr. live? Or is he a redemption too? He's been on the IL for a while. You should have time to sign his cards, Tatis Jr. All right, good luck, everybody. Last two mini boxes. Here we go. We've got more in the store. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Go and get it. All right, we got Ryan Baruki. Refractor auto for Jeremy Tillman and the Blue Jays. There's Byron Buxton to 99, green. I, I looked up and I thought Jim Gray writing 3K H N J U G H U. And I was like, does he have a cat? Did, a, did his cat walk across his keyboard? But no, he was just cleaning his keyboard. There's JD Martinez um, revealing a finest mystery redemption. Number two. It's a mystery. I don't think these are not announced yet, right? I forgot about these. We'll randomize this to one person in the break. They're not announced, right? Cardboardconnection.com. I don't think they announce these until later this year. Do I not know how to spell mystery? These mystery redemptions are not on the checklist. At least not on cardboardconnection.com. 
Uh, well, whatever it is, it'll be randomized to uh, to one person in the brig. Is Vlad number one? Is he confirmed as Mystery Redemption number one? All right, well, for number for Mystery Redemption number two, We'll just randomize it to one person in the break. Um, all right, so that was your last hit right there. All right, and got the nice Danny Jansen Super Fractor as well, which was really cool. All right, so everyone has a shot at that, except for that blank Marlin spot. Uh, name on top will get the auto, the mystery redemption, and the second name will get any Marlins, if any, in this break. All right, two and a three, five times. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. Name on top, well, the second name, is Jeremy Graham. You'll get if if there were any Marlins cards in there, you'll get them. And Paul Coolwit will get Mystery Redemption number two. Thanks everyone. Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye bye.